Hey guys, so this is uh, the ongoing uh, vintage uh, hi-fi project. So I have cassette, mini disc, and vinyl all set up. Um, audio cassette is the remaining one. And this is the deck which I guess has been around for about 23, 24 years. Hasn't been used probably in at least 15. So I plugged it all in, hooked it up. Uh, this deck wouldn't turn at all. This guy worked fine for about an hour. And then I fast forwarded a cassette to the end. It automatically stopped. I popped it out, put the next one in. It, nothing is turning anymore. <laughs> so it's probably belts. So we'll uh, open it up and have a look inside. Okay, so the dual cassette mechanism is all one piece. Everything driven by a single motor. Um, which refuses to turn. Okay, so I'll take my time and figure out how to get that motor out of there and then see uh, if it runs, uh, if it's that's that seized or something else that's seized. But everything else seems to work okay. It was a little curious though that one deck didn't work and the other one did. Um, yeah, anyway, we shall see as we go. Well, pretty much as expected, it's belts, or at least certainly a belt. Um, okay, the way this thing works is you have a single motor, and it has a dual pulley on it. Um, and it has two belts. One goes off to this deck, and the other one goes off to this deck, over this flywheel here. Um, the one on this side, which was the one that didn't work from the get-go anyway, has got all gooey and extended, and it was sticking to the shaft. Eventually it wrapped around the shaft of the motor and it actually knocked the other pulley out of its uh, out of its raceway there. Um, so they're both not working. So I put this one back. So I took the belt out, the duff one. Put the other one back. It seems to be working. How reliably? We'll find out, I guess. And I need to find out if I can find a belt uh, to uh, replace the duff one and I guess if I go getting belts I'll go getting all of them um, but yeah just looking at it it's just gonna be such fun trying to replace uh, the belts to go in there because to get this motor off it's screwed onto this metal plate but from the front <laughs> so uh, yeah you got to take the plate that it's mounted to off before you can get at the screws to get the motor off uh, just so you can run the, the belt over the pulley and there is zero clearance at the front of the pulley so there's no way uh, you can cheat here anyway uh, let's give it an audio test and see if it works okay I'm not sure why but <laughs> the, the uh, cassette that I picked up to use as a test is called the information technology framework from digital equipment 1990 To give you a broad picture of what it is and how to apply it so, to communicate we have one the deck working. difference. We'll start I with should an have to see about getting David some belts. Stroke, the information technology marketing man. So some considerable time later, um, I got these belts on eBay for the uh, cassette uh, some time ago, but I haven't had time to look at it since. Um, so I got two in case I need them. Um, I still can't figure out how to go on, um, so if I can figure it out and it, and it works, <laughs> I'll have more to this clip. If not, this clip will never see the light of day. So I got the front panel off, or the front section off with the two drives in it. I'm not sure that's going to help me very much. Luckily all the cables are plug and socket, so there's no unsoldering to be done. However, getting to the front of this... <laughs> still seems like a nightmare because it seems like and I don't know for sure yet but if I undo these six screws the both drive mechanisms will come away from the front plate uh, so progress report um, this little screw here which comes up from underneath and is heavily glued on this side is what basically holds this motor to the front plate at the other end of this bracket there's like just a little locating lug and this and where the uh, screw comes from the other side in this plate here it's just got a slot so you can 
essentially move this motor maybe two or three millimeters either side so that's obviously I guess to balance up the tension uh, on the pulleys on each side so <coughs> it's a very small screw it's very heavily glued here so I'm gonna see if I can get rid of some of this uh, glue before I try and undo the uh, screw from the other end because I had a quick go at it and uh, I'm just going to wreck the screw uh, unless I can somehow ease this up so uh, let's see if I can show you where that screw is on the front there he is right here this little guy you can see the slot he sits in so if I can get this guy out I can drop the motor back put the second pull uh, belt on put it all back and uh, in theory get everything back together again <laughs> he said hopefully well guys contrary to all expectations I think I might have got it on here um, so here is the new belt now what confuses the hell out of me is the belt is different on both sides like this size is only one belt and it goes up over this idler in the middle here around the motor and back down and that's the way that was however over on this side you have two separate belts, one going from the capstan up to this idler and one from the capstan going to the motor. Um, but everything seems to be connected up. I will not get it all back together whether this is how it's supposed to work or whether I've missed some vital piece of information somewhere along the way. Okay, so we got the drives back into the front panel. That went reasonably easily. Um, even managed to save the belt for the little uh, mechanical counter. Uh, I was sure that would get lost along the way but uh, so far so good. Now we just gotta get the front panel onto the rest of the chassis. Can't think of any more excuses. I presume I can put a cassette in without having the front door on it. Yep. We'll get into some amplification. We'll plan for success here. Um, these tapes are really ancient and wrecked. Uh, when I was a service tech on the road in the car, uh, these were uh, in the car for probably a number of years, I'm going to say. Um, okay, here's the big test. Hey! What's this you doing, baby? You know, it ain't right. I can see. Okay, we're going to call this initially a success, uh, but I'm going to let this thing soak for quite a while because um, 
yeah I just want to make sure this new belt doesn't go uh, jumping off anywhere so uh, perhaps one more wrap up when it's all back together covers and front panels and everything and then we'll be done <laughs> Okay guys, there we go, all back together, we'll call this a wrap. <clears throat> I think the learning from this for me is, I sure prefer working on valve and tube gear than on this sort of stuff. <laughs> Fingers are too big for working on this stuff. Anyway, hope you found it interesting, or at least some of it along the way, and uh, until the next time.